Hello, my name is Thomas Krallo and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things money, trading and finances in general. Now I finally got some time off so I can uh, record a video for you guys. And today is going to be a really interesting topic, but it's not going to be about trading. It's going to be about education and the necessity of education in general. So do you need to get a higher education to succeed in life and this is a huge question that nowadays so many young people ask themselves oh and by the way don't forget to follow me on instagram that's where i post a lot of interesting things as well so higher education do you need it is it an absolute must and this is a very very tough question see uh, when you're going for higher education and you really want to get a high-paid job, this is one of the ways to do it. However, I see higher education and this usual 9-to-5 job process is something that is so many ordinary people um, striving for. And the reason is reliability. Well, at least, I should I say, implied reliability. Meaning that people are so used to the fact that they must go to a high school then to the university study for countless years and then they will be guaranteed a really nice job you know uh, the uh, social security and all this kind of stuff but is it actually true well in my personal experience and my life has turned out quite differently from many other people's lives I do have a higher education and I do have a bachelor's degree so I do not have a master's degree or a doctor a doctor's degree but uh, I do have a higher education and I studied at a quite a good university so I should have been able to get myself a, uh, a nice job and I did I worked about for about a, knee, a year in my field of expertise which is uh, law and uh, I was making around 40 to 45 thousand per year now is this really that very interesting and sure maybe I could have gotten some extra education and uh, I could have developed further and maybe I could have mm, started making about 70 to 80 grand in about three four five years and uh, so on and so forth so these numbers they sound okay however if you want to live a really wealthy life if you want to be able to afford uh, things that the normal people are normally able to afford at the age of 40 or 50 years old then you have to be thinking out of the box and going back to the question so do you really need to have a higher education for me it turned out that absolutely not once again, I do have a higher education, but uh, currently I'm not uh, working nowhere near the field in which I actually have the higher education. I'm a trader and I've been one for many, many years. And the way I became a trader, it was just uh, mentality and some luck and hard work. And when you are striving for something uh, that you see opportunity in and your future in, then you must be able to take this leap of faith. And of course, when you're working for yourself, uh, you are the one who is paying you the salary. So you're not hoping for your boss to give you a raise. You're not uh, trying to, um, you know, make your name um, in the company and, you know, go through the uh, corporate ladder and, you know, um, be the nice guy and try to um, do the job uh, to the best of your ability and you know work extra hours for free and just go into this rat race and uh, working 12 hours a day and sometimes even 18 hours a day to uh, make it by the age of 40 or 50 is this really that interesting for some people it's safer and it's something that is more comfortable but but in my opinion you have to take risks and when you are choosing opportunity over education this is a huge risk like myself i wanted to be uh, the part of this corporate world i really wanted to work for a huge company a law company i really wanted to you know make my um, self known to the world of law and this kind of stuff but then after working one year in this field i realized that it's just overcrowded with competition there are so many good lawyers out there and it's just insanity everybody wants to be a lawyer an accountant and uh, all of these regular um, 
regular professions. Being a lawyer or an accountant or an IT specialist is nothing special anymore. Maybe 10 years ago or 20 years ago, but not now. There are so many of them. It's incredibly competitive market. It's very, very difficult to climb that corporate ladder and you're going to be working your ass off. And I've chosen to work my ass off on my own project, on my own business and on my own self. And that's the real difference between working for somebody and working for yourself. And that's the thing. See, I've never said that education is useless. It's, it's very useful, but in a, a completely different sense. You have to understand that working uh, on your intellect is education. So when you go to the university, you study so many different subjects and uh, each subject has different approach to it, different kinds of assignments. And you are developing your brain, so you are developing your intellect. And this is uh, how education can be useful. Uh, I remember when I was in the university, I always thought that uh, I was majoring in pre-law and uh, some philosophy was my minor and uh, stuff like that. And I did not understand why should I study calculus, math, what does it have to do with law or philosophy? It does not make sense, it does not compute. But guess what? Uh, I believe that the idea behind all of that is basically just uh, developing your intellect. Being a lawyer, you have to be able to think fast. And math, when you are good at math and you're practicing math, uh, this will develop your brain and you will be able to think faster. And this is how higher education is useful. So um, me, until this day, I'm still planning, maybe at some point, if I have enough free time, I will continue on with education. I'll probably get my master's degree and maybe a doctor's degree. I don't know, we'll see. But not to have a job, but to develop myself and increase the level of my intellect and improve my intellect, but not for money. If you want to make big money very fast, you have to work for yourself. Otherwise, when you're working for somebody else, you're making money um, uh, for that someone else, not for yourself. And you're living this dream and this hope of at some point uh, making it to the top of the food chain and be the one who is controlling the uh, other people's lives. However, it's a really long journey and I prefer to enjoy life right now and not in 20 years and after all you might lose your job at any point and the same thing goes for private business of course you can go bankrupt at any point so there are risks everywhere and yeah so once again and I've been a day trader for the past seven years and it, let me tell you it was the best experience uh, ever it was tough it was hard it was sometimes frustrating but I had no one to answer to and until this day I'm not a billionaire but I do have quite a lot of money and it's cash so I can really enjoy enjoy life at any given moment and nobody can tell me anything. By the way, uh, if you want to learn about trading, uh, then feel free to register for my free webinar. There will be a link in the description below and I'll see you in the next videos.